everyone! So last week I went to Ulta to do a Ulta haul! Yay! Which that's always fun. And I needed to restock on some stuff, so that's why I went to Ulta. But you know, when you go to Ulta, you decide to go and get one item or just a couple, but then you end up getting other things that you weren't expecting. But they were good purchases, and I'm gonna go over them right now. Stay tuned! Bye! So these are my purchases! Yay! And look! This, this is my uh, Wrap It Up Nails from Color Street. I'm loving it. Uh, just a quick update. But this is my purchase that I went and I got at Ulta. Uh, I'm going to start off with my uh, repurchases that I always get at Ulta. And this is definitely my favorite. It is the Tresemme. Uh, Keratin Smooth Heat Protection Spray, 6 ounce uh, size, and I like this because uh, it has uh, marula oil, 5 benefits in one system. So this is a great uh, heat protectant. I put this on right after the uh, shower. Again, I purchased the uh, Essence Extreme Lasting um, Eyeliner in O2 Expresso. Uh, it's my favorite. Uh, and I put this on my waterline. And uh, it is the color Expresso. Very smooth, glides on. Uh, the only thing I don't like about this is that it, you have to sharpen it with a pencil. But other than that, uh, I love it, uh, as you can see. Uh, and then I went and I We'll give you an update on my last uh, moisturizer, but this is my uh, other moisturizer that I've used before. It is the Botanics uh, Simply Calm Hydrating Face Cream. And I like this because it has the uh, Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil, and it is very calming because I do have sensitive skin. Uh, this is what the, the box looks like. Uh, and this is what the bottle looks like. Uh, and it's a white, pretty, it's pretty thick. Um, but it goes on, uh, it's very rich. I would say it's very rich, but very, very hydrating. Uh, I like it, very calming. I have very sensitive skin. Hence, I will give you the update on my other uh, Ulta purchase. And that is a repurchase. And then my other favorite is the Mario Badescu Aloe Cucumber and Green Tea Facial Spray. Um, and I just... Sometimes I just uh, use this as a freshener it's very soothing on the skin and I like it a lot uh, I used to use the rose water but I decided to uh, try out this one and uh, this is my second uh, purchase and I like it uh, so new items that I purchased is a um, it is the BH Cosmetic Weekend Vibe Mimosa 16 color shadow palette and this palette uh, is featuring sweet citrus and punch hues neutral let's show you uh, neutral and sparkling metallics with, with ultra pigmented payoffs I liked it because it's cruelty free and I like the bright colors and the matte colors and glitter. Uh, lately I'm into bright colors. I already swatched the colors and they are very highly pigmented and I already used pomegranate which is right here. Pop, 
Uh, I use Champagne Already by uh, Sunny Chill. Uh, a couple of them already, and I am loving it. Uh, I have on Pomegranate Pop Vibe uh, Champagne in the inner corner. Uh, very very pretty and uh, you can check out my makeup afterwards uh, and it comes with a oops uh, a, sh a, a, sh a, uh, what do you call it? a screen to keep it covered and a little case of course let's fix this up and put this in here okay. and so that's my um, eyeshadow palette that I purchased as a new color and I uh, this is my new purchase from um, Morph, Morphe liquid hot liquid lip hot shot that's the name of this um, and I've already used it it has more of an orangey um, orangey uh, pigment uh, underlining very uh, matte, but not as drying. Um, let's see if you can see that. It goes on really smooth. But it's more on the orangey uh, side of it. And I wanted something um, festive for the holidays, so I purchased this. And I like the uh, Essence uh, Mascara. But I noticed that they had a Princess False Lash Effect Mascara Waterproof, of course. And I brought it home and I looked at the uh, brush. And this is what the brush looks like. And I can't wait to try it out. Uh, I do like their uh, waterproof mascara. I have very oily skin, so and then my eyes are hooded. So I get a lot of mascara on top of my uh, lid and I hate that. Uh, so I wanted to try a new um, mascara so I'm happy with this then I purchased since I like the botanics and they were having uh, a sale uh, you buy one uh, you get the other one for 15 of uh, 50 percent off so I bought the facial oil so I've never used this but since I already like their products uh, so this is what the product looks like Just a droplet. Uh, I'm just doing one drop and you can see that. Uh, but very light. I put oil on the evening at night. I don't think you can see that glisten on my skin. Uh, very herbally smell. Oh, I like it. So that's a new purchase, and I purchased a Real Technique 201 uh, powder brush. I do already have one, and I just wanted another one for downstairs. And since I like the Tresemme Professional, I decided to get the uh, Keratin Smooth Serum as well. Um, it seems very light. I like the pump. Uh, let's put it here again. Okay, this one's a little bit more thicker than the uh, facial oil, but um, yeah, but not too heavy. I don't like anything too heavy. So I'll just put some in my hair. And oh, it smells yummy. Oh, I like that smell. So this, these were my uh, purchases this time at Ulta. And uh, I, because, uh, I, you know what, I'll show you later. And I just want to give you guys a quick update on um, my last purchases. So these are it. I hope you uh, like what I purchased. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Um, I really like Botanics. Again, it's cruelty free. Um, it's 100% vegan. It's very calming um, to my skin. 
I like the Real Technique uh, brush as well. I've used it. It's, it's very nice. Uh, I have tried the Morph uh, lipstick and the thing about this one, it does come off. It does. It is not a stain. So that's the only um, thing that I don't like about. But other than that, I really like my purchases a lot again. So I can't wait. Um, but I'm going to give you um, some updates. So we'll be back. Stay tuned. So I wanted to give everybody a update on my uh, last purchase and give you guys my update on whether I liked it or not. So definitely my repurchases are going to be the Derma E Firming uh, Eye Lift Eye Cream. I like it because it doesn't irritate my eyes and it does what it, you know, it, it moisturizes my eyes, so I really like it. Also, I like the um, Essence High uh, Beauty Hydrating face, face Primer as well. I like it. It's very hydrating. I, it's very, uh, I have it on right now and it seems like it's doing its job. It's the winter season, so I just like it when um, I have more hydrating stuff on my skin during the winter. Uh, I also purchased the um, Essence 18 Hour Super Last uh, Liquid Eyeliner and that's definitely a repurchase. I always get that and so I still like that. And I uh, purchased this exact uh, pencil last time and I purchased again. So I have one downstairs so that I have it ready to go for my when I have it downstairs and I have one now uh, upstairs because I am like completely and uh, also, my uh, I talked to my bestie, and he was telling me that he would definitely repurchase the Clinique for men and the Olay Active Hydrating as well. So, uh, men, if you guys are looking for a, a hydrating uh, uh, moisturizer for your face, definitely check out Clinique and Olay. Now, things that I would not purchase again. So I know I liked the Derma E, uh, Derma, uh, e Derma E Vitamin C Serum, but I noticed that it was a little bit too strong for my skin because I have very very sensitive skin. So I decided to use it uh, once, uh, like a treatment, a couple of times out of the week, and just use it in the, during the evening. So I have a lot of it. So I'm going to uh, finish wrapping up that, and then maybe. I might use something else um, that it can, you know, firm up my skin and um, yeah, so I might purchase something else. But anyways, I really liked it, uh, so I'm still using it. I also used, I purchased a Derma E Firming uh, Moisturizer with the uh, Alpha out acid um, in it and again that was a little bit too strong so I only use that for the evenings I still like it because it does firm my skin but it's a little bit too much during the day and evening so I just so during the day I will use the botanics and in the evenings I will use it during the evening but once I'm done with that I think I'm going to check out some other products to see what might suit my skin type a little bit better and I also purchased a Derma E anti wrinkling, and maybe all of the stuff it has a lot of like anti um, uh, wrinkle uh, ingredients, uh, and they were a little bit too much. So next time I'm going to get something that's uh, again less aggravating uh, on my skin because I do have very sensitive skin. Plus it's winter time, so I don't want anything harsh on my skin. More moisturizing uh, will do. So, um, and then I decided, since I go to Alta more frequently, I decided to get the, um, the Alta MasterCard um, rewards. And it went, uh, and I was approved, yay, it's always a good sign. Um, and so once uh, you get this and you get approved, you get 20% off your first purchase. And there's no annual fee, and one point for every three dollars spent outside of Alta. And if you earn, uh, you can earn 500 bonus points uh, if you spend uh, 500 dollars within your 90 days of opening this account. So you get a lot of benefits. If you have a thousand points, uh, you could get 50 dollars off uh, your uh, next purchase. And um, 
this is what I spent this time at Ulta. So uh, it's about 80 something dollars. So if I did a um, thousand on this, it would be $50 uh, less on this bill. So I always find ways to um, uh, save money. So thank you for um, coming along this journey and see you guys next time and I'll give you another update. Bye! Take care.